All right, there you go. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> This is Francina. Hola, Francelia Shannon. Oh. <laughs> sí. uh, I'm Francelia. <laughs> bye bye. She can be your wedding coordinator. Um, I am. So when you talk to her over email and you get here to the resort, this is the beautiful, friendly face you're gonna see. <laughs> and she's gonna set up all your wonderful wedding yeah. uh, items, like the gazebo behind us. This so. is the gazebo. <laughs> <laughs> so you get here. We'll see you soon. Bye. This is the preferred club. When you check in, you have a private check-in. And. Here, if you're a wedding couple, checking in for club, you have a special check in as the wedding couple, and they're going to bring you all kinds of exciting things um, specific for being a wedding couple. Um, I won't tell you what it is because I don't want to ruin the surprise. In the back end of the fur club, you have uh, snacks and um, upgraded liquors, and you can come in here anytime. There's also another one up close towards the we have a code six in the preferred club. I repeat, code six. The famous couple cafe. Okay, they're busting off, uh, going a different direction. I just want to quick talk about, um, this is where you have like a hamburger restaurant here, an uh, ice cream parlor, gift shop, and then in the middle, um, they'll have live entertainment. You can see kind of the stage lighting here in the evening, and then back behind that is a um, theater stage where they also have entertainment. And we're at Now Onyx, obviously. So this is the wedding department here, your second day of arrival. Um, this is where you'll come and you'll meet Francina or um, Elizabeth and go over everything that you have planned. Um, hold on, we're gonna get some. That's why we require three days prior to the wedding day. Because the day after, on their arrival, they're going to have the meeting with the wedding coordinator. After, they're going to have the meeting with the photographer, with the spa. All the meetings, we try to accommodate them to have it the day after on their arrival. So they, all the day is going to be for them just to relax. And then the wedding day is just, it's just a, the, the big day. Mm -hmm. It's okay. fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we have we don't have brochures. We have the wedding guide. Most of you, I think, already has it. If not. So we're going to look at the uh, wedding gazebo um, closest to the lobby, they call it the Fountains uh, location and um, it can accommodate up to 100 people. But back in here, if you are a uh, groom, they keep you up in the lobby there um, where the bar is uh, <clears throat> so you don't see the bride or your um, significant other you're going to marry. And then uh, as the bride or person getting married, you um, come in from up here, you can make your entrance all the way down this runway, I like to call it, um, or from right here as well. So they'll probably bring you in on the, depending where your room is, uh, over there. And then you walk down here into the wedding gazebo. Now I have a lot of footage of this um, already set up and then photos as well. Uh, but this is just specifically uh, for you guys to take a look at this as a blank slate. This is um, kind of not really an ocean view. I mean, it's very distant. Um, for the most part though, if you want ocean view, you don't want this location. But if you want uh, more space and the fountains, um, 
this is a great space for that. And it's shaded too. So again, you have this really cool long walkway and this will fit up to a uh, hundred chairs through the middle here um, and also throughout the sides and then they will turn the fountains down uh, for the ceremony she's going to explain that. She summed that up. Then there's also, if you're going to do music, um, what they do is set up like a DJ, well, whoever's playing the music, uh, like a speaker right here. So if you're going to just have like a song as you walk down the aisle, that would be back here as well. Um, or if you're having any live musicians and stuff, they obviously you can include that here too. So again, this is the fountain um, or garden gazebo area. Lots to think about here um, <clears throat> if you want an off beach wedding. So it's a good spot. Three, no, two. Okay, so this is basically the layout of the resort. Back there is the lobby. Um, these rooms are the non-preferred clothes, the entry suites. They all look the same on the inside. It's just... Um Okay, so here's a basic layout of the resort. Back there is the lobby. Um, these are the junior suites, uh, these buildings back here. And then as you get closer to the beach, um, you upgrade to the preferred club sections, which are on this side over here. reception here too in this area but it's kind of in the middle of the resort I don't know what would be my favorite spot but this is an option that they may tell you about uh, called the reef. and then as long as we're over here um, here are the swim out suites uh, this would be the preferred club section anything closer at ocean view and we'll get there next Okay, so we're still at the um, pool at now Onyx, and this is the upper level of um, the reef bar. So if uh, you're getting reference that, that's what this is here. And then you can do a reception in this area, and which they will remove all of this furniture um, if you're going to choose to do that. It's a good spot if you went off the beach, but you still want the ocean in the background. And a real nice breeze that comes through here as well. And of course you get the pool. Ambience too. So. Just another thing to consider. Okay, so now we're looking at the wedding beach wedding location. Uh, this is called Stone Beach, and this is um, farthest to the right of the resort uh, in the preferred club area for chairs. So um, this is a more private location for the beach. We're going to be at now Onyx and a lot more quieter uh, to the right of that. There's really nothing over there. Um, so then they can set up 
uh, whatever you're doing right here. And some nice palm trees, nice scenic, um, great breezes through here as well. Um, they will remove these chairs pretty much halfway back, so uh, it's more exclusively to you. Um, this is an area though, like if you're gonna do a afternoon wedding, you definitely wanna build in some sort of shade because it's pretty hot. Um, if you're doing a later afternoon wedding, then it's nice, nice breezes. Stone Beach wedding So we are on the beach now of Mount Onyx. It is a beautiful day out here. Uh, this will give you an idea of what the water looks like. Uh, we got rolling waves. There's a little kid out there playing. Um, probably anyone smaller than the age of, I don't know, seven or eight than I am out here, but bigger kids are having fun. Uh, so some kind of notes on that. And you can see how long the stretch of beach goes. Uh, big and also uh, this wave as well. And then to the left there is Breathless. So if you see way down in the distance, um, past that sail, uh, on that side is the adults only breakfast side. And, oh, looks like I'm falling behind, I gotta go. Me again. Okay, so now we're at the Preferred Club Beach. Or Preferred, it's not club, it's just called Preferred. Nah, start that up. So we are at the Preferred Beach. And this is um, one of the locations in between Breathless, over here. And then um, now Onyx over here. This is a very, very big uh, space. And you can also follow it up or do a reception here, I mean, as well. Um, this is feet and sand area here. So as you can see, I'm um, building in some shade if you're doing an earlier wedding time of day because it is really hot. And if you're doing a later evening wedding, not so much. Also great breeze. note um, if you're doing a land day wedding um, you have these chairs would be moved and pushed aside uh, so you have a little bit more privacy but you would have you know guests um, out on the beach or possibly in the water but they're staying um, you know, farther away farther away in the area um, <clears throat> if you want completely private then you probably want to be um, more towards the wedding gazebo area So the sand is really, really soft. It's really fun if you're gonna do a, like I said, a feet and sand kind of wedding. Uh, if you are going to be wearing heels or anything like that, um, then building in a runway all the way back through here might be something fun to do and um, <clears throat> the wedding coordinators can help you with that as well. All right, so here's the preferred beach wedding ceremony and or uh, reception location. And we are at the preferred club at now Onyx um, Adults Pool. It's supposed to be adults only, but I have seen teens over here. Um, this is actually when I see here one of my favorite areas. Uh, the bartenders here are really fun, and they make some really cool um, mixology drinks, that kind of thing. Also, you've heard me talk about the wet dining experience, and that happens right over there. Um, you really want to ask me more about that? I have uh, photos and videos that is <coughs> videos of that too. Um, and that's just kind of a separate fun thing if you're looking to do something unique for like a wedding rehearsal or family dinner, that kind of thing. And noting that, if you want the adults only section of now Onyx, this is Preferred Club, that's over here. So you have your junior seats at the top and your sum ups on the bottom. Hola. So this is 
kind of more of a hangout, chill kind of a vibe, beach beds everywhere. Um, really cool kind of things you can just lazy river float through. And then a little bit more of a social hangout over here. Um, the smoke bar and whatnot. So again, we're in the Preferred Club, now Onyx, um, adults only site. Okay, so this is the Preferred Club um, Swim Up Suite Adults Only Room category. And here's kind of a look of what your pool looks like as you have a little patio there and jump right into your little plunge pool. And then there's a ballet bed right here as well. So back here you can kind of see they're all little private suites. And then up above there would be the um, Preferred Club Adults Only Ocean View Junior Suites. And I may have that a little tangled, but um, I can clarify that in the email. But now you kind of know what that looks like, something you want to do. And then again, these overlook right out here, the Preferred Club Pool. And I need to revise an earlier note. Um, preferred Club Pool does have teenagers in it. That's why I'd seen them here before. Um, so it's for, uh, I think, ages 13 and up. But you don't, as you can see, it's not filled with kids. Uh, this resort is about 80% occupancy today, so there's plenty of room for everybody. Um, it's kind of a nice thing about this property and Breathless as well. <laughs> 